Okay, today we're leaving Trinidad, Colorado, and we're going across uh, the, uh, the dam at Trinidad Lake. It's right, right next to town. You can see the Spanish, East and West Spanish people. There's Trinidad Lake. We'll be taking Highway 12 West, which, which is what you would take normally coming off of I-25 out of Trinidad to get any properties, mountain properties to the west of Trinidad, Colorado. And that's where most of them are at because all the mountains are to the west. So those are all the peaks that you're seeing. The Sangre de Cristos there and the west Spanish peaks are all um, public lands for the most part, about three quarters of the Sangres to the west right there. Highway 12 goes along the base of the Sangres, goes through Stonewall, Colorado, a neat little fishing community up there and uh, right by all the national forests and everything over Kuchara Pass and then down into La Vida. And it passes by North and Monument Lake, Bear and Blue Lake up in the national forest. We just turned on Highway 12 off of the dam of Trinidad Lake and you can see Fisher's Peak over Trinidad in the background. I-25 goes south from there, from Trinidad to Raton, New Mexico. and. Um, Trinidad to Denver is about three hours, two and a half, and to Colorado Springs, two hours, and Pueblo, or actually less than that, and then Pueblo, an hour, an hour and a half to Colorado We're coming down what we call Coatdale Hill. At the bottom of this uh, is a county road, I believe it's 51.3, we're going to be taking that today, and going to a property uh, up on Carbo Canyon. And I believe the county road's 51.3, but you can see right there the back entrance to Trinidad Lake State Park. Here's sign of Coatdale. It used to be an old um, coking town for sending coke to Pueblo to make uh, the world's best steel. So the back of uh, the Trinidad Lake entrance, it was you could have taken a left right back there. And uh, we're going up Bon Carbo Canyon. Actually, now. the county road is 57.7 when we call it Bon Carbo Canyon Road. So we'll be heading up this. We'll be taking shots up Bon Carbo Canyon to show you the drive uh, to get to mountain properties from this canyon. We've come about a mile and a half up Bon Carbo Canyon Road, 57.7. Uh, the turnoff at Coatdale is about four miles west of I um, Trinidad, Colorado, on Highway 12 to the town of Coatdale. When you get about four miles or five miles up uh, Bon Carbo Canyon, you'll start to see the West Spanish Peak in the background. I do have it zoomed in, and that looks looks about that big when you're driving. Actually, it's a little bigger than that. And this pavement ends about seven miles up Bon Carbo Canyon. So any of the properties off off of this road would be lit, uh, anywhere from less than a mile to five, about five miles on either county graveled maintain year-round road or ranch roads that are maintained by the ranch itself. So we're leaving the, the post office and now we're going to take off and go to uh, uh, to a ranch. We're on County Road 51. County Road 51, we're going to go about a mile and a half, two miles up here and take a ride into a ranch called LDS. LDS. We're going to a 40 acre track with um, uh, a newly built road in sight that should have almost 300, 360 degree views. The Sangre, Spanish Peaks, uh, Fisher's Peak Mesa, and south into New Mexico. And I'll be showing you the right hand turn. There's a metal barn up here. This turn's not hard to uh, find. And it's just paying attention as we drive through the ranch. I'll be taking specific shots to get back in here. It's about five miles off of the main county road to get to this track. It's 40 acres again, and there's 200 acres of BLM that borders it on the north side. And on the west, there's a 1,200 acre ranch or more. And there's a couple of the other LDS tracks to the south of it and to the east. But uh, there's practically no one back, back up here. It's real private, and there's going to be a lot of wildlife, or there always is in this in this can in these canyons. This range. about a mile and a half past the Bon Carbo Post Office, we turned at off of County Road 51. You'll see that old old cabin over there in Windmill. But you'll see this metal barn too. Now we're entering. We've entered LDS Ranch. The 
the ranch has no covenants and uh, so it's nice and we'll be winding up in here like I can say about five miles and I'll be showing you the main turning points and shot to the drive well, we're gonna curve around this hill and up get up on these benches and go way up way back up in to the south up there okay, we've come about a mile after we took a ride at the metal building off of County Road 50 point one, 51 51 point zero. We should be hitting the cattle guard here pretty quick. About a mile and a half. Yeah, here's a cattle guard. So you want to cross this cattle guard and you'll see this house on your right hand side. When we pass that house back there, you'll see this road here. It says Spear on that sign. It said Spear. It's a big white sign with black letters. And then you'll see a telephone box here. You'll see this green gate here. You don't want to go there. You take a right. So you cross the one cattle guard. You pass that house and miss the potholes. And you're going to take a right. And then when we get to the top of the hill, after we go to the bottom of this canyon, for about, after we go through the bottom of this canyon for about another mile and then come back up on top up there, we will uh, take another right and we'll basically be headed uh, straight for the property. Okay, we haven't come uh, far past those little ponds you just saw. You don't want to go right, you want to stay left. Uh, those ponds are up this valley. At the top of this hill, we'll be taking a right. When you're driving up in, on this part, you see the solar panels, um, you'll see a couple of driveways. Just stay on the main road. There's only one other person that's out on this ridge, and it's, uh, they're about a half a mile. We pass them as we're going to this property, this 40 acre track. Okay, we're right at three miles. Right at three miles to this four-way. So you want to take a right, right here. And I believe this sign says Conrad. That's the one other owner that lives up here year-round. Connor. So take a take a right at the Connor sign. And again, we're about right at three miles into the ranch itself from the metal barn. Not too far past the Connor sign, you'll see a left turn there that goes to an old gas well. The gas wells on this ridge haven't been running in years, and they have a reclaim program with the state, which will, there is a gas well on this property, and I'll drive through the site location because when that, when that gas well is remediated, reclaimed, then it will be, um, it'll be a really, really nice spot for a cabin. RV or something. Okay, there's the Connors property. They've got their address right there too. And this property, after you pass the Connors, we get on to, uh, I believe it, the way it's shaped, 80 acres are we're driving through a half mile of BLM right now. Okay, after you pass the Connors residence, you're going to see the there's a right hand turn there that goes to an old gas well. You don't want to take that. In the background is the, was the Sangre de Cristos there. I'll zoom in because you can see Fisher's Peak over Trinidad from this direction for a brief moment. So this BLM, 80 acres of it, borders on the north, north end of this tract we're going to. You can see these old gas wells. It's like that one's like we just passed by it. That one's like the one on the property. And they should be reclaiming it pretty pretty soon, I would think. They haven't been running in years. We're fixing to drive to another well location that's not running. And you can see Fisher's Peak over Trinidad that direction. So you drive right past. So we pass, pass by two old wells. And 
There's the West and East Spanish Peak. I'm not zoomed in, so they look bigger than that. And there's the Sangre de Cristos. We're about a mile from the Connor sign. And coming over that little hill, this property, the northern boundary, starts right down here, cutting across. Or maybe just up there around that corner. We'll be able to see it on the topo map. The hilltop where the property is on is right over there, right there, and we'll be driving down on a new road and onto a site right down in here. The old gas well, well, it's on the property is right down in here. There's a right-hand turn, a Y. You can go down in here and go right to that well site, which I'll do, and drive through there. And then there's a gate on the western boundary down below if you don't turn into this well. And that is the western boundary that 1200 acres that canyon right there is Bon Carbo Canyon what we drove up you can actually see this point when you're driving up and that's Fisher's Peak over Trinidad and it looks like about like that okay we're driving onto the property from the north and we're hit we're going south into the property the site like I was pointing out up above it's going to be right along that new road's going to be right along there it's going to be about right there on the property in the center where the yellow line ends this is the old gas well so i'm going to come up here basically right right here where this curve stops this is the northern boundary line that may you could say that old chunk of wood right there would be close enough that's the northern boundary line so we're going to be driving in and then taking a right coming onto the Pad side. Okay, it was 6.2 miles to the northern boundary of the property. Um, no, it wasn't. 5.3 miles. So if we go up there, we'll go to the new, the new site. So we're going to go down here. And like I say, if you keep going on this road, it'll it'll dead end at the rancher's gate on the western boundary line of this property. Once you're coming down, you're, you're looking at the Sangre de Cristo. As you can see, Taos Mountain in New Mexico over there. And the, of course, these are the Sangre de Cristos. I can get the, it's so big, I can't get the peaks in too, and I have the wide angle lens on. Okay, we're just gonna drive. There's a lot more land up here too to where you could go from that, this new site and further out on the bench and do more things on it if you wanted to. So this would go down to that gate on the western boundary. And we're gonna take a right right up here. If we, go, if we went left right here, then we'd quickly cross the northern boundary and then be back, headed back out to the ranch entrance. That's not too bright. The property, it, this road goes off the property and it, it dead ends down there. Then there's about a half a dozen other LDS 40 acre tracks back up in here. But I don't believe there's anyone past the Connors. They have a lot of pinion and, and juniper pine on the property. You see the west and east Spanish peak through the trees. That's Sangre de Cristos to the west. get out and walk around a little bit and then uh, fly my drone over the property so you're looking into New Mexico so you have the southern facing views that's about what it looks like the sawgrass in the trees 
trim a few of these, you're going to have wide open views. Oh, man, you got Fisher's Peak over Trinidad, too. Yeah, there's Fisher's Peak we've gotten out. This is the eastern portion of the property up on top, um, and the southern boundary line runs uh, about over there where Fisher's Peak is, that tree, and then down through the canyon here, and then cuts back across the bottom of this hill. Let's see if I can get, and you can just see forever. trim some of these pinions so you can get the full Sangre de Cristo views. And this bench you can see you can keep going out here and it keeps stepping down for a while till it finally just drops off. Looking to get the east and west Spanish peak over here too. Now I've come up the hill a little bit above the site so you get the east and west Spanish Peak. Then you'll have all the front range of the Sangres. They look about like that. fly my drone over the property and uh, give an idea of what, what it looks like from the air but closer in and I'll try to uh, this is the road coming in I'll try to keep the property centered and uh, give views from all four directions Okay, before I start flying the drone, you see this, uh, let's see, we're right about here at the site. The drone's going to take off like this. You're going to see the song grazing in the West Spanish Peaks. But you can see this Y, the site, and this curvy road down here at this corner. And you can just kind of tell where the corners are. It's a little bit harder on the north side right here, the top of the top of the map, which is upside down right now. This is south, where we came in at. It's right here, the northern boundary. It's, it's right before a, a little hill you go up right here. I'll try to keep the property centered for flying the drone.
Okay, we're leaving the site. We're gonna go up to the top and uh, take a right, and I'll show you where, basically where the north, or actually the southeastern corner boundary would be in the trees back over here on this side. There's a lot of room even up here if you wanted to put another cabin or something just right off the main road right here. That's north and that goes on the way out. So we're gonna take a right. And it's like if you're driving here, Fisher Speak looks about like that. Let me get it zoom in, the focus. Here we go. So if you miss the property, miss the drive-in, the drive to the little pad site, and you come down here, you're going to see an old, another old gas well with a big grassy meadow. So you'll need to, you know, you'll need to turn around. And you can see this road isn't very much used. I'm going to turn around. Okay, right you can see on the map, we're sitting in this grassy field right here. You can see where this grass starts to end, just off the road will be the southeast corner in the trees to our left because we're going to be driving north back onto the property. Here's the driveway. Here's the road that goes to the old gas well. Here's the road that comes down. There's a fence right here for this private land over on this side, which will be the southern side. And the western side is bordered by a 1,200-acre ranch. So right about where that grass ends, about where that tree's at, directly across right off the road in the trees is the southeast corner pin. And you can see, and now you can see the Sangre de Cristos. When you open up the site, this, you'll have the full range. And the site is right over the, over the, uh, over those trees. And there's the Spanish Peaks. There's a fence line that is the, the big ranch owner's fence. So the corner is right down there. There's a oh, <laughs> there's a uh, T post and a metal ranch barbed wire fence corner. Two H's. So it's marked on the southeast corner. Right, we're back on the top portion of the property. We're on the property. You could do another little bench right out here. This is where the drive goes in. And uh, we're about to leave and be through. You see the Spanish peaks really well. <laughs> and the song grace. And the northern boundary line is right past this old gas pipe, right before you start going up this little hill. So we're crossing, it's about right where that little tree's at. And now we're on to BLM 200 acres or 80 acres here, and the BLM I think jags off that direction. We're off the property. <laughs> 